like you just got sucker punched. Putin's ban may have been part of his retaliation for a new American law aimed at holding Russian human rights abusers accountable, but it hits couples like the Boyles the hardest. So we had this room set up. Um, we wanted to be prepared for whenever we got the call. It is the latest devastating setback in their five-year quest to become parents. Tried for about a year on our own. And then we tried for probably another year on um, oral medications. Um, and that's, that's where we had the most success, actually. That's where we had our, our four miscarriages. They then pursued in vitro fertilization, which can cost up to $15,000 a round and was not covered by their insurance. So we really wanted to put the, the resources we had left towards a process um, that would result in a child. They filed paperwork for domestic adoption, but quickly turned to international adoption. One of the things that scared us the most about domestic adoption is that you put yourself out there with the risk that at any time somebody, a, a parent changes their mind and the bond you've made gets broken and there's nothing you can do about it. Before the birth or after? Before right. or after, right. right. Um, with Russia, or really any international adoption, that fear, it was gone. Where the children that are in the state-run orphanages, the parental rights are terminated. Um, once you have de an adoption decree and you come home, that is your child and there's nobody that can take it away from you. Now the Boyles feel someone has. Still, they continue to work on preparing a playroom and building up their hopes once again. And yet you yeah. still say to yourselves, we're going to be parents someday. Absolutely. Yeah, there's, that's, that's not a question. We, we will never give up.